Now, the Honorable Elijah Muhammad taught us uh, that the morning star's time, or Allah's last messenger's time, uh, was about two hours. Please, if you haven't already, review parts uh, 14 and 15 of Black Messiah 2012. Excuse me. Two hours spiritually is 83 years or a thousand months. The Honorable Elijah Muhammad only taught us uh, for about 43 years. Uh, yet, the morning star time is about two hours, spiritually speaking, or 83 years. I have a question for you. Since the Honorable Elijah Muhammad teachings concern Allah and the devil, do you know of anyone that has brought a greater witness or work uh, than the Honorable Elijah Muhammad? Has anyone been able to give you a greater wisdom concerning Allah in person, Master Farah Muhammad? and his plans concerning the judgment in our future? The answer is no. Well, since you can, uh, cannot as of yet go outside the Honorable Elijah Muhammad's teachings and manifest a greater wisdom and work, uh, this means, just like Yaqub, that his wisdom still rules, and you are still under his time and authority. It does not matter if he is physically here or not. His wisdom concerning God or Allah in person or Master Farah Muhammad rules. Well, how long? Well, how long is the night of majesty? The Quran says the night of majesty is better than a thousand months. The night of majesty is referenced by a thousand months. We know that a thousand months is 83 years. If we calculate uh, the, night, uh, the 83 year period or night of majesty, from the appearance of, uh, of His Majesty, Master Farah Muhammad, uh, who started teaching us in 1930, if we add uh, 83 years to this date, this puts us around the year 2013 for the appearance of God or the judgment to commence. This was basically covered in Black Messiah 2012, but let's go a little deeper. Uh, in the Bible, in the book of Matthew, the 25th chapter we have, starting at the first verse, uh, it, it speaks about the, uh, it's a parable by Jesus concerning the ten virgins. And I'll start at verse 1. Then shall the kingdom of heaven be likened unto ten virgins, which, which took their lamps and went forth to meet the bridegroom. And five of them were wise, and five were foolish. They uh, that were foolish took their lamps and took no oil with them. But the wise took their oil in their vessels with their lamps. While the bridegroom tarried, they all slumbered and slept. And at midnight there was a cry made, Behold, the bridegroom cometh. Go you out to meet him. Then all those virgins arose and trimmed their lamps. And the foolish said unto the wise, Give us of your oil, for our lamps are gone out. But the wise answer saying, No, <clears throat> excuse me, saying, Not so, lest there be not enough for us and you. But go you rather to them that sell and buy for yourselves. And while they went to buy, the bridegroom came, and they that were ready went in with him to the marriage, and the door was shut. Afterward came also the other virgins, saying, Lord, Lord, open to us. But he answered and said, Verily I say unto you, I know you not. Watch therefore, for you know, <clears throat> for you know neither the day nor the hour when the Son of Man cometh. Okay, I'm only uh, going to discuss uh, what I see as the most relevant parts of this parable to what we're discussing concerning the night of majesty. Okay. Remember, I'm only using logic with, a, uh, with uh, accordance to the mathematical calculations I've been sharing. Make sure you rely and put your faith in the Honorable Elijah Muhammad's teachings. Again, these are my own logical thoughts uh, that I'm sharing with you. All right. When it says the five wise and five foolish, uh, this is uh, talking about the believers and the disbelievers in God. A lie in person, Master Farah Muhammad. In the book of Psalms, chapter 14, verse 1 read, The fool said in his heart, there is no God. Or you can uh, look at this as saying, 
uh, my, a person saying Master Farad Muhammad is not a lie in person or Master Farad Muhammad is not God. Number two, concerning the oil the wise took and the foolish did not take, the oil is the wisdom or teachings of the Honorable Elijah Muhammad. As David said in Psalms 23 and 5, Thou anointest my head with oil. The, your, the brain or your mind is located in your head. A by example, look at a car. The life of the engine of a car is the oil. We put oil on our skin to keep, keep it supple and alive. Without oil on our skin, the skin will more readily crack and die. Uh, so the oil is the wisdom and knowledge of God, Master Farad Muhammad. In other words, it is life. There is more to this. In the May 12, 1907, excuse me, 1967 edition of Muhammad Speaks, the Honorable Elijah Muhammad uh, said to the question, question, the interview asked the messenger question, excuse me. How does one become a Muslim minister? Answer. The, the messenger said, any, any believer who accepts the truth that Almighty, that God Almighty has brought to us in the person of Master Farad Muhammad, to whom praise is due forever, is automatically a minister. He may start teaching this truth, <clears throat> even the women. They all become ministers. Now the five foolish will be uh, made more clear. In the book of Hosea, chapter 4, verse 6, we have, My people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. Because thou hast rejected knowledge, I will also reject thee, that thou shalt be no priest uh, to me. As pointed out in Black Messiah 2012, Allah is coming to gather those who believed in his messenger. He is not coming to teach. So if you are found without that knowledge and belief in Master Farad Muhammad, you know, lack of knowledge, a lie in person, like the five uh, foolish who took no oil, you will be destroyed. Also remember, many of our people rejected the teachings when the Honorable Elijah Muhammad left us. When they rejected, they were no longer ministers, no more considered a priest to God. Because thou hast rejected knowledge, I will also reject thee, that thou shalt be no uh, priest to me. Verse 6 says that <clears throat> of the parable of the, uh, the ten virgins, And at midnight there was a cry made, Behold, the bridegroom cometh. Go you out to meet him. Let's talk about this. Uh, it says at midnight. In the middle of what night? It was the night of majesty. Remember, the night of majesty is the period of time of Allah's last messenger. As we discussed before, the night of majesty is referenced at 83 years or a thousand months. Well, the middle of 83 years or half of 83 years.